Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Inside A Gamer, and today I'm bringing you a new game, Political Machine 2020. In this game, uh, we are to win the hearts and minds of the American voters and take the 2020 presidential election by storm with this new exciting strategy game. Okay, so just want to quickly say thank you to the developers at Stardock Entertainment for sending me the key to uh, review the game. Let's have a look and uh, see what it's all kind of about. I must admit, I do like myself a bit of a political simulator, that's for sure. Now, shall we be Democratic or Republican? Now, I've seen on YouTube that there are a few reviews already, and most of them have been Democrats. I think we're going to go Republican. And what we're going to do, we're going to play on not too hard, not too easy, because I'm not exactly entirely sure the whole kind of thing with the game. So we get to be Donald Trump, George W. Bush, we can't let that guy get in, surely, uh, Mitt Romney, Mike Pence, and Giant Meteor. <laughs> so what, I think we're going to take this by being Donald Trump. I think this is the way forward. I, I think this is what we have to do. Uh, ideology is Trumpian populism. Okay, we got good stamina, strangely enough. Charisma, we're quite warm, we're quite intelligent, sharp, really. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about that. Media bias, okay, we don't really like them. We're an outsider. Uh, the minority peels the sum, and we are a tycoon, so we have probably a ridiculous amount of money. We're a multi billionaire businessman turned president. Trump has attracted disaffected voters from his vow to make America great again. His controversial rhetoric of companionive tweeting, however, have turned him into a media parish. Can he overcome the growing threat of impeachment and ride a strong economy to another victory? Who? Oh, can we actually create our own? Oh, oh. Oh, I don't know now. Do I want to be Trump or do I? <coughs> oh, um. Uh, you know what? We will pay as Trump first. If you guys enjoy this game, we might do a couple of episodes on this and then. We'll create our own character if there is enough interest. What do you think, Mr. Trump? Yes, I think that's a great idea, Inside A Gamer. Okay, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Pick your opponent. Who are we going to go against? A.B. Kublisher, uh, Bernie Sanders. To be honest with you, my personal opinion was Elizabeth Warren would be the next uh, president of the United States. Obviously, she's not doing so good right now. Um, not keeping up to date with it too much, but we're going to go against her. Why not? I like the music. The presidential journey begins with Trump and Warren. 21 weeks, that's how long Donald Trump and Elizabeth Warren have to convince the voters to get their support. During this political season, advertisements will be aired, campaign speeches given, fundraised that each candidate traverses the United States of America. The two have a long road ahead of them, each trying their best to prove their worth to be the next president. <coughs> okay, right click on your state to move there, now the action states are done. Okay, I'm obviously assuming red is ours. They have theirs, and everything else is kind of in the middle, I suppose. Um, we have over four million. Um, okay, and this is our home place of New York. Right, what else have we got up here then? We've got some buttons here that don't really give me much. I'll have to click on everything to find out what everything does, I suppose. First of all, let's move into a state. Who do you reckon we can win? Ooh, Ohio. 44% for us, 13, 43. You know what? We are in Ohio. We've lost some stamina points. I suppose these are all the different things that we can do. Doesn't really tell me what they are. Okay, let's click on this. So, stop st state issues. Healthcare, <coughs> better private insurance. That's kind of what we can go on, I suppose. Blue collar jobs, that's definitely in our favour. Hmm. Right. Shall we do a speech? Stopping the coronavirus. How the hell is this number one already? <clears throat> okay, that's exactly what we're going to go for. Okay, we're going to go support on that. We're going to lose five stamina. That raises the Democratic appeal, raises your independent appeal, raises your Republican appeal. Let's give that speech. Yep, yeah, I think they enjoyed that. Um, what are these things? Are they fundraisers? Your funds. Okay, so we can raise funds. Uh, ooh, what are these? Protecting our borders. Are these my ideology points, obviously? <clears throat> hmm. 
National effects, protecting our borders. Okay, so once we get three ideology points, that's a week. Oh, there are endorsements. Right, what's this? Create an ad at Ama Hawaii. Oh, um, uh, we're going to say, I support blue collar jobs. It's going to cost us 450 grand. Wow. Let's place that ad. So that's been done there. I think we need to move to our next state. What else is quite closely contested? Colorado. Okay, we're gonna go here. <coughs> okay, we can't do any of that yet, obviously. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's move forward a week. A town hall has appeared. Visit to, to stamina and ideology points. All right. Wow. She is going all over the place. What the hell is she doing? Okay, let's give a speech. Oh, hang on. Before we give a speech, let's find out what they actually want in this place. The universal health care they're into. Better private insurance. Okay, so we can get them on that. Uh, oh, okay. This is not easy. Okay, let's give a speech. We're going to give better private insurance. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry for uh, my coffin. Okay, uh, something has happened here. Newspaper coverage. I'm Donald Trump and I'm in support of better private healthcare. Yes, we like that. Okay, we still have some other stuff. Uh, what do we like in these states? Ooh. Eee. Eee. Ooh. We're not so good on them ones, are we? Oh, Press the wrong buttons here. Okay, I feel like we need to kind of go after her a little bit. Uh, Georgia. Georgia seems to be in our favor. High operatives. Ooh. Rumors have sufficed that the fixer has pledged support the presidential hopeful. Fixer has been known to use his brand of constructive persuasion. Okay, we've, we've hired him in, in Georgia, I suppose. Um, create an ad. Okay, let's find out what Georgia want. Okay, so they're kind of into saving the bees, traditional values, stopping the coronavirus. Okay, maybe we can put another coronavirus ad in here. Everybody likes the coronavirus, don't they? Uh, let's place that ad. We have ridiculous amount of money. Okay, we've had a bit of a swing there. Okay, we'll take that. Um, Celebrity endorsements. Turns out that your popular local celebrity who is a big fan of Trump and has decided to publicly endorse him. Yes. We will take that. That has given me an ideology point, I assume. One. Okay, so that's what they are. Um, let's go back here to New York. We have now run out. So look, we're up to week three. We're still pretty level pegging. What are these little houses that she's putting down? Am I making a mistake here somewhere? <coughs> Damn you, Florida. Right. Ooh, okay, so we can give a, a large amount of something here. Um, hmm. Hang, hang on, let's find out what what are we actually enjoying here. Ooh, a bit of everything. We want universal health care. That's something I'm not going to be able to support for Israel. Good jobs. Jobs, Israel. All right. Okay. So we're gonna give a speech. Um, I support wealth inequality. I support for Israel. <coughs> we're gonna give that speech. That's huge in that poll. Okay. I think we should head over to Minnesota. That was probably a bad move. We probably should have gone to Iowa. Okay. We're going to hire that operative. So we have a cheerleader here. And let's move on to the next week. 
Okay, a town hall has appeared. Oh, she's going after my states now. How dare you? Elizabeth Warren, stay out of this. Okay, what, what do we want here in Iowa? <coughs> Farm subsidies, they're big into that and better private insurance. So we can we can do something with that, couldn't we? We can... Um, Farm subsidies, yes, we're going to give a speech on that. Why ever not? And then, uh, why don't we fly over here? We get the ideology point. We can take that. After his plane touched down, Trump received a donation of 500,000. No one knows where that came from. That's fine by me. Can't do anything down here, can I? No, we've got two points. I think money is running low. Okay. I have full support of that social justice. How dare you? You need to stay out of this. Okay, so she's doing her thing. 100 grand. It turns out, well, okay, so we've got a, another celebrity endorsement here, so we may as well do a speech. What do these people want? Stronger law enforcement and pro-life. Okay, well, we can we can do that. Definitely pro-life. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. Um, Two ideology points. We can't. We can't do anything. How does she get so many? <laughs> hmm. We just have to stay there. Okay. Too early for predict the winner. Yes. Okay. Give Donald a few weeks. One volunteer for Donald Kaffee showed us that when he's really begin to pull ahead, these first few weeks are just fluff. The main event is still to come. Yeah. I'm not sure. 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 Okay. Uh, what do these people want up here? Farm subsidies, better private insurance, stopping the coronavirus. I think we can do a bit more for that, can't we? These people are very worried about coronavirus, which I am currently uh, struggling from right now. <laughs> Let's give that speech. Put an ad in here, maybe. Uh, okay, we can smear them. They say that they don't support farm subsidies. That's it. We're gonna sling some mud. <laughs> Screw her. Elizabeth Warren, I'm coming for you. That's 45, 42, 43, 44. 44. Okay, we need to come out here. Okay, we raised 46 grand here, we'll take that. <coughs> Town Hall has appeared. You have been invited to... Oh, oh, oh. You've been invited to appear in the Ben Sharp show. Yes. We'll take that. Here we go. Pro-abortion advocates refer unborn children to cluster cells of not being life, but we found the same cluster cells on another planet we'd held life found on another planet. What is your position on abortion? Wow, this is one hard topic. Um, I support the woman's right to choose. <laughs> Audience response. What? How do they not like that? Biology doesn't care about your feelings. What do you say about those who choose to identify as a gender that doesn't match with their biological sex? 
How do we identify ourselves that makes us human? I would say stop being crazy. No such thing as biological sex. As long as they don't demand others to play along. Oh. These are really tough questions. <laughs> These are... Um, they are brave. We are... How we identify ourselves what makes us human? Well... They are brave. How is it brave? Ben Sharp, what are you doing to me? They're going against the social norms. There we go. Haha, <laughs> audience. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm sweating over these. Thanks for the candidate for coming in and listening. Trump alienates base. Trump interview answers discourage base. What does that mean? <coughs> Okay, what do they like here? Border protections. Oh, well, we are pro. Border protection, I suppose that's what I'm going to have to do my speech on, isn't it? ideology points. We still have three. What are we doing up here? 50, 36. We have no bloody hope. Can't afford any of these now either. Oh, Jesus. Not much more I can really do, I suppose. Um, Elizabeth Warren, fair game. <coughs> <coughs> Medicare for all, how dare you. Okay, so we are turning some of these. How we, oh, she turned it blue. Okay. What do we want here? Bit more stopping coronavirus, how about that? Ooh. How is she doing? She is clearly out swinging me, I'm telling you now. 50, 36, 39, 47. Ooh, I'm doing terribly. What do we want down here? Social justice, universal healthcare. I think we have to go for social justice, aren't we? Come on, Louisiana. <laughs> Come do us something good. Okay, we're gonna have to. Town hall has appeared. Okay. We have some sort of cooperative here in. Uh, we need to go take this. Three ideology points. Now, can I actually do something with these now? That'd be great. Draining the swamp. We're going to endorse that 100% protecting our borders. <coughs> How close are we up here on this state? We are losing money like you wouldn't believe. Okay, not good. I'm gonna give a speech here. What do, what, what do we like up here in Minnesota? What do Minnesota want? Farm subsidies. Okay. Border protection. We are 100% on that. 
paid family leave. Okay, well, look, we're all about business, so I, I think endorsing farm subsidies is not a, a bad thing. You run out of money, but a donor has stepped forward. Oh, good. How the hell did I run out of money? She better not be stealing my state, I swear to God, woman. <coughs> that didn't quite go to plan, did it? <coughs> um. Pick your running mate. We'll go for Mike Pence. Okay, we're still trading behind. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, so he's going to make speeches. So look, I think we need to... Come over here. We've got six ideology points. What's this guy doing? Oh, that's her running mate. you got to be kidding me. Oh, okay, the, the California, there's no hope of swinging. I think that one's fucking... Oh, that's gone out of the water too. Uh, North Dakota. Let's get over here. What can we do for you guys? Okay. What do these guys want? Fracking. They really want fracking. Okay, well, we're going to allow that. We're going to do an advert for fracking. You've run out of money. That's great that we have donors. <coughs> <coughs> Elizabeth Warren, you're killing me. Donald Trump, what is wrong with you? You want any of this stuff, dude? State enthusiasm, ah, oh, okay. College votes, state wealth, political strategy. Yeah, we should be going for all of this. I, I assume that's what it's trying to tell me. Good old Tennessee. Let's do a speech. What, what, what is it in Tennessee that we are after here? Border protection, well, we're already 100 at that. We're not doing very well on anything else. Wow, she she is destroying me. I suppose we could we could say. Um, we'll give a speech on that. Where else can we go? What, what have we got around us? Not much. You know what? I think that's where we're going to leave today's episode. We're we're halfway now. We are losing to Elizabeth Warren. Uh, so far with the game, the game mechanics, you know, I'm still getting used to it. There's still a few things. The tutorial wasn't particularly amazing, but I am enjoying the game. Um, so, you know, thank you to the, the publishers for sending me this key. If you guys want to see, can we beat Elizabeth Warren? We're down by quite a lot of points. Can we do it? Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see some more of this. And uh, make sure you do subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.